Oh my gosh. Y'all see how ashy my mouth is? Oh my. I just, I promise you guys that I just, well, you guys can clearly see that I wash my face because this makes no sense how ashy this is. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see that things are a little bit brighter, lighter, crisper, and clearer. I've got some amazing new behind the scenes stuff so that my videos can come out better quality. So I'm not here to bore you guys with all that stuff. I'm here for the reason why you clicked on this video. So today I am going to show you guys how I usually do my makeup when I am going to a photo shoot for a brand. Um, and yeah, I like to keep it really simple, nothing too glamorous. A lot of times when you go to photo shoots, the makeup artists that are on set, they don't always have your exact shade. So um, yeah, so let's just get into it. Y'all ready? I'm nervous. I've never done my makeup on camera before. Hopefully it comes out right. I use Smashbox, their Studio Fix um, to photo finish primer. And I really like how satiny it makes my skin pro. Anywho, so I'm using the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade in the color Espresso. I literally just dig in here and I get a lot of product. And I have short eyebrows, so I like to extend mine a little bit. So maybe I'll do it like that. Okay. with the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme uh, Lip Gloss. I love this lip gloss. It legit works. Um, and so I usually just put it on my lips and let it do its work while I'm working on the rest of my face. I'm open up my, uh, my Fit Me Foundation and I use the color 338, all right? This is the Pure Mineral Concealer by Ruby Kisses in the color Light Beige. This is my favorite concealer of all time. It was like three, four bucks from my local hair and beauty supply store. Let me tell y'all, don't sleep on this. Like, it blends so flawlessly and they have all different types of color, colors and shades for anyone. And I just love it. It's just so perfect. I don't understand why people sleep on this. So I have just like a flat brush right now uh, a flat eyeshadow brush and I use this to do my highlight um, under my brows because it's just so flat and it gets all in, in the nooks and crannies so I use the concealer for the outside part of my brow blend it out so that it doesn't look super harsh. Alright, and then with the same brush, I get the top of my foundation and I just use that part. So I just dip it in there once and it's a lot of product on the brush so I just pat it on the back of my hand to get rid of like the excess and then I just clean up the rest of my brow. try to keep it really light and cute. Out, 
blend it out. If you don't feel like you blended enough, you probably didn't go back in it. I don't care if your arm is tired. There's nothing more crazier than that, you know, that's that harsh, unblended line that a lot of people have on their chin. It, I'm so, like, I can't even tell you. I, I get so nervous when I see that. Alright, so I do highlight. And my highlight, I just kind of put it under my eye like so. Ooh! Y'all, I don't even know why I'm doing all this makeup for real, for real. I have dance rehearsal. And, like, two hours. Contour. I usually start out my contour with, of course, Ruby Kisses yet again, um, in the color Caramel. And I don't know why Caramel is so dark, but what else? Who am I to judge? So, I'm going to just go ahead and go in. And so, a lot of times people start, like, like right there in that crease for their contour. I don't. I like to go a little bit higher. So, I usually start my contour, like, right above my little jawbone because I feel like that helps shape my face. Cause I have a pretty round-ish face, so um, when I start my contour a little bit higher than my cheekbone right here, I feel like it gives me more more angles. dab right here, a dab right there, and a line right there. And that looks crazy, but bear with me. Alright, and then I do a dot right in between my cupid bow, and this it. Oh, go ahead and do a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So, I'm going to go ahead and blend that out under my chin. And then also, I use this fluffy travel size equal tools uh, eyeshadow brush. And I use this because it's soft. It has a little taper point at the tip. And I feel like it just gets all my curves and crevices the way that I want when I'm doing like my nose contour. and embarrassed about this because I need a new one but I like to use a stay matte but not flat powder foundation from NYX and I say I am ashamed because it is so crumbled on the inside I just I should just go get another one or order another one but I'm lazy and it's still product in here uh, elf powder brush is a flat top powder brush and I use that to kind of like blend in now that your foundation your highlight and your contour is complete um it's easy to say your makeup is almost pretty much done um we're just gonna go in with like a colored highlighter for like forever. Just go ahead and use this top middle one 
which is purple. and doing like a gold or a silver highlighter is the best way to do that i hope you guys liked this video um if you did please give me a thumbs up um let me know that you like what i'm doing this new setup that i didn't invest in all this stuff in vain um also subscribe if you haven't subscribed i need some more friends i need some more sub subscribers some more supporters you know I mean i want to hear from you guys leave any questions or comments that you have down below and that's it so i have another video coming up which is basically uh my boxy charm video because i like to try to do a boxy charm video so <laughs> when you see this makeup beat in the next video you know why <laughs> but thank you guys so much for stopping by i love you so much mm -hmm.